Uh, hi guys, uh, good morning. Hope you guys are staying safe. Today we have uh, our guest Ranil Harshana, who's from Sri Lanka. He's a he's he's a trainer basically, and uh, we'll get to know from him soon all his stories and you know what he's been working on. Ranil should be here. Yes, we have Ranil. We have Ranil here. Can you hear me, Kiran? Hi. hi. Yeah. Hi, Ranil. Hi. Hi. How are you? Morning. Doing. Morning. How are you doing? Good. Good. So far, good. Very nice. Isolated. Very nice. How's it? How was the lock? Yeah, obviously isolated. <laughs> isolated and frustrated, yes. and yeah. of course, of Waiting course, to go back on the tournaments. Right, yeah. all all the all the players, tennis players, are waiting to hear something from you because everybody is sitting at home and yeah, they okay. hardly have anything to do. And there, most of right. them, uh, mm -hmm. whoever I've been talking with, everybody is uh, really uh, their main concern is. Uh, you know how are they, when they get back on court you know yeah. they're all worried if uh, they could uh, get back into that shape i mean they'll be able to maintain the same fitness or no i think this is where uh, you will be a lot of help to them yeah right so yeah. so like go ahead yeah so can we start okay yeah, uh, yeah sure yeah ranil uh, basically uh, ranil is a dear friend of mine uh, and he's from uh, sri lanka mm -hmm. we all we met in SLTA for the first time, and that is where you know I've uh, been following him. For time. And it's a long journey for uh, Ranil. He's uh, uh, so Ranil. I want you to tell how you know getting into fitness and all this actually started. Uh, personally, myself or yes, yourself. Okay, so how I started about like... fitness and all that. Okay, so I was into uh, badminton, table tennis, and martial arts. Yes. So right. then I got injured doing with the Asian systems, right? right. So Asian the fitness methods and uh, stuff like that. So then right. I got myself uh, educated. So I traveled to the US, UK, and did all the certifications. Studied under the great mentors like Dr. Fred Hatfield, J.C. Santana, and like uh, Dr. Bird from Australia, England. Uh, wow. Then I continued my studies. So during that process, I was uh, like a personal trainer, group fitness, corporate wellness. Then I translated to. Um, strength and conditioning full time so yeah. then my niche is like performance training performance nutrition so i've handled like over the past 23 years all the uh, top guys in combat sports from ifma let we uh, to mma to uh, wta atp uh, you name it davis cup right. fed cup uh, yeah olympics paralympics right that's that's that. athletes. yeah so yeah. much so much you've yeah. gone through in the, you know in the last uh, you know 23 years which you've been mentioning uh, you know uh, and uh, to be frank first thing is all of us want to know you know uh, it's like uh, maybe you can say rapid fire for you right? yeah yeah for sure yeah 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 go ahead we right. wanted to know all your qualifications so we start from the first one dfn yeah. what does that stand that's for and what that's actually uh, diploma in fitness and nutrition so that's the basic uh, uh, college education yeah right then so, uh, cpt that's called certified personal trainer from multiple organizations uh yeah acsm ace like yeah all of them yeah right uh, cgft that's uh, certified in group fitness okay right uh, pes it's called performance enhancement specialist performance right. enhancement <laughs> specialist yeah performance enhancement specialist ces yeah. a corrective exercise specialist <laughs> right mmacs 
Uh, that's for martial arts strength and conditioning, mixed martial arts strength and conditioning. Yeah. Right. C S S C. Uh, that's a certified in strength and conditioning. Right. And S E T. Uh, that's uh, certified in exercise therapy. Like that's the bridge between like uh, yeah, uh, between physio and getting back into the what you call the uh, live training. That's a small gap. Right. So right. Uh, with that credential, you bridge that gap. Right. Then. Yeah. Uh, SSN uh that's in sports nutrition especially in sports Sport nutrition. nutrition yeah right not for SP? the rehab and uh that's in right. functional training yeah functional training functional training functional training uh yeah. right and PTS uh that's called performance training solutions that's from UK yeah yeah so solution there is uh, something between uh, a solution and uh, the, just the training is it yeah yeah There's performance like yeah yeah solution performance training, training solution yeah 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 performance training right. solution and, yeah then on top of that, have, yeah and on top of that uh, to maintain these certifications you have to do like uh two uh, what you call the uh, 20 credits per two years for each certification so throughout the years right. so you have to do small courses uh, lectures uh, workshops blah 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 so that's for right. like uh, to maintain each certification you have to go through like multiple small courses so yeah I've been there on that yeah right then of course uh, reiki Reiki is one. Yeah, Reiki. I use like a hybrid system because I was yeah. born in Asia, but I lived in uh, multiple countries. Uh, right. So what I hybrid is the uh, Western sports science with the ancient martial arts uh, mentality and some right. herbal stuff from India, Sri Lanka. So that actually helps. So if we take like ten years back, now mm -hmm. uh, all of the ingredients which we use in India and Sri Lanka is coming into play. Like turmeric is big in the US right. for anti-inflammation. Right. Like garlic, yeah. So right. maybe I've been using it like fused uh, for the past uh, 10 15 years with my athletes anyways wow. like capsicum you can uh, garlic uh, you got like bees honey right now it's a trend in the west but we've been using right. for like thousands of years as you know like in India and Sri Lanka with ayurvedic medicine so so right. when I train my athletes I kind of fused uh, uh between so mentality and the uh, herbs and the uh, eastern way and with the western way so I come up with the uh, that's my own way of training the athletes yeah So so far, I was successful with like uh, yeah less injuries. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. That is something yeah. interesting and uh, very good point. Probably you can take from being uh, you know uh, in the subcontinent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And then uh, the international high performance coach that was with yeah. ITF. No, no, international high performance. That's my uh, that's my background and that's what I do. So I consult right. multiple countries, like for Sea Games and Asian Games, like from like Thailand to Indonesia to like I have like so many athletes all over the world. So I right. do like professional athletes with the uh, non-disclosure agreement uh, with uh, certain management, and also the right. countries. Yeah. So right. yeah. Right. So right. Yeah. Super. That's I think uh, that's anything else left because we have one of uh, our friend uh, is one of the okay. coaches, Ratan. Right. Ratan, he says, man, this is. is there any uh, any certification other certification still left over <laughs> ah, yeah you always learn man <laughs> yeah it's always learn because i always learn yeah always in the ball game so the right. good thing about the us certification uh, tell your friend the coach so once you're yeah. certified in one certification to maintain that particular certification uh, you right. have to get 20 credits every 2 years so that's like a hell of a lot of courses it's like continuing mm -hmm. education credits to maintain right. each certification so these are the main certification uh right. on uh, yeah so once you have the main certification you have like small certification to maintain those certifications so you are always wow. on the learning mode yeah so it's not like okay i've uh, certified in like 1990 or like 2000 and i'm done like it is not that so if you don't get the credits your certification expires simple as that yeah, like so you need to maintain you need to maintain yeah, yeah, you exactly. need to be up updated credits. every day right. yeah, every 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 two years yeah right perfect Perfect. Okay. So, uh, sure. Ranit, so let's come to you know uh, you you worked with uh, you know you worked on Olympics, Paralympics, Sea Games, Asian yeah. Games, you know, and uh, you worked on a lot of uh, tennis, badminton, you know, yeah. little bit of I think Jabbling. some cricket yeah, as was, well, little bit of cricket yeah, yeah, as yeah. well with with some of the West Indian cricketers, yeah. Right. So uh, all these, you know, uh, the fitness between them is different. You know, for every sport, exactly. it is different. You know, yeah. how do you how do you keep everything you know what are the basic things which you which you take uh, care of with every every sportsman because my primary concern is uh, they are in 
the basic conditioning because each sport, right. each athlete. So now I focus. That's why I don't focus on the group sports like soccer, volleyball, or that kind of sports because it's difficult right. to monitor because that's not my passion. So I cater right. to individual sports like badminton, tennis, or combat sports. So it's right. actually on an individual basis. So if you are going right. for a country, it's maximum about like four players or five players. If you take Davis Cup or right. uh, Fed Cup or in that caliber, but if not, right. it's like individual players, right? So it's right. easy to monitor. and to have a, a good relationship with the athletes and the coaches so we right. cater to all the minute details from uh, like getting the blood work done and getting the uh, postural assessments and to maintain that and also the training volume the training loads uh, what you eat because each athlete might respond to different uh, i mean different way to eat stress so for example right. you can for forehand like athlete a can play 20 forehands for example right. athlete B can play twenty four hands, right? So the C right. can play twenty four hands, but athlete A might be working at a high intensity, ninety percent. So if you take your right. ATP ranking players or like professional players, so for them twenty ball is like they give everything they got. A right. complete player will be doing less. So you got to monitor right. that load and right. to see where it's lacking and what are the areas right. you need to focus. So as a like a blanket cover, if you take all the sports. what is primary requirement is like the cardiovascular and respiratory base that's a must so that's right. where the energy output or like uh, depending on the sports so if you take uh, sports like tennis it covers through like all the energy systems like unlike uh, sprinting or like putt shot or javelin so right. tennis is like uh, at present now it's like a more of like a power endurance game uh, compared to like 20 years ago right 20 years right. ago the right. yeah Yeah. So now, like actually, the male players are like uh, serve and volley players. It's like bang. It's like a energy system one. I mean, if you take the female players, it's like a baseline players. I mean, majority of them. So if you're playing in the right. clay, like a high grinding, like the French clay. But if you're in the hard court, it's about like three to four seconds per point. So it all right. depends on the athlete and how they respond to the coaching program and the relationship you have with uh, uh, what do you call the technical coach, the performance coach, and your physio and the doctor and like yeah. uh, the yeah. entire team. So at right. this period, I would reckon for all the athletes to maintain the cardiovascular base because the stability, uh, stability, not only the core, because everybody's saying like core, 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 core every time, right? Uh, right. Because you need to do that much of core, but yeah, most of them is like core exercises, like the crunching. So most of my yeah. athletes, I never do like the crunches, like the flexion motion, because in the sport itself, it covers that, right? Right. So, uh, right. Yeah, in the rotations, you don't need to tax too much. Then again, it depends. So actually, right. what uh, this like it depends. It's actually uh, I was lecturing with one of the uh, workshops for ITF patients or the World Conference. One tip I got from Dave Miley: it's yeah. <laughs> everything depends. So everything depends. Is, perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's like actually one word I was searching for like all these years. So yeah. that's why I say like always go and uh, mingle. I mean, we all learn from each other. So depends right. is like a keyword. So every okay. mental aspect, the new recovery, the nutrition, the hydration, uh, your training yeah. load, the exercise, all all actually depends. Yeah. Right. Perfect. So um, the most important thing again, uh, you know, in these lockdown times, yeah. you know, anyway, because we are coming to that uh, part next. You know, in all the websites which you've already designed uh, to have online courses for the. coaches trainers and uh, players yeah yeah right? we're going to go, we, we we will uh, we, we we will directly go there so first yeah, sure. i want you which one uh, you want to do first strength uh, strength attack or tennis bpm or anything man yeah life? i'm flexible anything yeah anything shoot which at one, me which one do you think uh, should go first i think we'll go with the uh, tennis first because your majority of the right. players are back tennis right. yeah tennis and in our yeah. in our in our uh, the viewers we have uh, tennis coaches our uh, our friend uh, anand is also here oh hi anand yeah yeah hey, anand is here okay anand is here then uh, we have uh, harini who's a physio we have physios right. we have trainers we have tennis coaches we have players in it right right okay <laughs> perfect combinations right? yeah yeah <laughs> yeah right so yeah let's go with the tennis bpm tennis bpm is one of the uh, tennis specific sites which uh, 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 you know ranil has designed right yeah exactly yeah so tennis bpm right. is actually i want to bridge the gap 
because see yeah. most of the time what happens uh, with the uh, tennis coaches or like the trainers right they do random stuff especially for the uh, long term athletic development and the kids right so yeah. what happens is like uh, they go on to the professional players profiles or like video clips or whatever they try to mimic those activities into their kids right the chances are if you ask any doctor or physio they are getting like a higher dose like a higher volume and a higher uh, dose of exercises or like the training volume for that kid so what happens right. eventually because they have like stress fractures to metabolic uh, i mean uh, stresses to a lot of diseases demotivation like a lot of factors so i decided right. to uh, create this in a simple format uh, coming with a book in like uh, 2014 as well right. so and for the, especially for the yeah so that that actually i simplified all the strength and conditioning like uh, see uh, i was as i was speaking to you you don't have to call like atp cp system and get everybody confused right so right exactly the, keep yeah, it so simple keep it simple everybody could understand a kid would understand the coaches would understand because right. uh, nobody's going to write papers here right so we are here right. in like exactly. field work because otherwise yeah. there will be researches yeah because uh, so my thing was like gaining that knowledge to simplify it and make it applicable uh for tennis coaches in about 3 days so that was the workshop was intended for so in right. 3 days you do the theoretical work you do the practical work so that's like a 3 day workshop for the coaches so they can handle how to assess like a new player or like the basic assessment uh, this is not for the professional players but this is for the junior recreational and the uh, uh junior uh, performance players so who are traveling so those are the actually if you take like the bulk of the coaches who are like interacting or like in the organizations they'll be working with uh, those type of players because when you take any sport professional players have their own team anyways so when i go with i have like specific in whatever badminton or tennis or combat you have the specific technical coaches we got ourselves because those athletes are covered anyways but majority of coaches uh, coaches will cover the uh, what do you call the uh, these uh, mentioned players from juniors to recreational to like uh, uh, perform, i mean performance players in the junior level so these yeah. are the key areas so if the if you maintain a solid base for them so they have a good future for the college tennis and the professional players so what happens uh, what i saw like over the years in every sport by the time they hit like 17 18 they're injured or they're demotivated so they like sped up with their sport because uh, well, they're trying to do that's, too the much. Scene, that's the present scenario in india Yeah I mean that's everywhere most of the yeah. most of the countries in southeast asia asia that's the uh, uh, that's the uh, that's a common thing so I, exactly yeah because even in the other countries if you are not blessed with like a good uh, city or a state or like a good school it will boils down to the same thing right so i just right. want to bridge the gap uh, this book when you read that a parent would understand a kid would understand a coach would understand simple what to eat when to eat uh like that everything is broken down like from glycemic uh, index to like uh, proteins or fats to recovery everything is simplified so you have a training right. base and a solid base so once you have that solid base it's easy to progress into the high performance players right so that's what the right. rationale behind it that's yeah something really interesting to be yeah frank. thanks yeah 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 right and uh, the, the players can also uh, you know uh, you know get enrolled in this uh no, no the book can be purchased by anyone that's on amazon no, no, not the book not the book uh, we're the, talking about the, the tennis bpm yeah, yeah players can come in but it's specifically yeah. meant for coaches yeah if right. the players come in they'll have a better understanding so once okay. you have a better understanding so their yeah. adherence to the exercise or the tennis specific uh, routines or the skill specific uh, would be sustained because they understand right. why they do things instead of just running okay i do 500 do forehands or backhands or whatever or do like run around like 30 minutes for like for what so when they understand the why and the what and the benefits so they'll understand it better and it's like easy for them because they'll understand because they are the ones who are playing so they'll understand right. their body better than anybody else right so it's like a yeah yeah this is something so, yeah. really interesting uh then then we go to the live fitness online. fit online or strength uh, yeah. and attack yeah uh, strength and attack is actually meant for like the combat athletes so this is like a right. uh, high uh, because that's like a different mentality altogether because when you're hitting each other other uh, <laughs> for a sport and cutting up so that's like a different mentality and different uh, kind of uh, intensity so what do you so for example what you get in a tour like for uh-huh. example like a five set match or like a weeks play 
we get it in like 25 minutes or 15 minutes. So these are like, okay. yeah, it's all condensed. So that's why I select because these are my two passionate sports, tennis and combat. Both are equally tough in a different way, mentally and physically. Yeah. Correct. So tennis, if you're going on tour, or like if you're, <laughs> it's pretty tough, different time zones. But in combat, exactly. you get like blooded up, uh, yeah, internal damage. Uh, yeah, a lot of, yeah. Yeah, quite so a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, a, yeah. So it's two extremes, but I love it. Yeah. So on the online fitness, it's like for anybody who actually, I use this with my uh, professional players because when, because when I'm contracted to one player for a couple of months or a country, I have to neglect the other players. So this, uh, this system, actually, I individualize. I have the PDFs to animations, to uh, Skype calls, to nutrition pinpoint for that particular player. So they can do their customized workout instead of random workouts. So nowadays, like you, I mean, you do like lunges, squats, like you have seen thousands of in the YouTube and like whatever, like Instagram, like Facebook, you do like squats, you can uh, step ups, you got like box step up. This, uh, yeah. So the question is, do you actually need it as an athlete or a coach? And to what extent you need that protocol, right? For example, a C, for example, if you have a strong course stabilizers, right? Do you want to focus extra work on the core stabilizers or you want to balance that out, maintain it and focus on somewhere you are neglecting or where you want to improve? Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. So, yes. so that is actually think, a much yeah, more that sensible. Is, that is one of the major things we, we've been, uh, you know, uh, uh, we have not been concentrating or, you know, maybe you don't know. You don't know yeah, which one exactly. to use. Most of the coaches exactly, are, yeah. because there's so much of, not just, uh, not just tennis yeah. coaches, uh, yeah, yeah, but every, then you know the 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 player, the parent. You know, there's a lot yeah. of information on site on on the mm. on the web that you know you are confused. You know, at, at times you know when people ask me, even I'm confused. You know, which one should I actually follow? Yeah, exactly. So that is actually the main reason of this online program. You bridge the gap. So it's like me because I don't go to uh, I mean teach tennis skills yeah. for obvious reasons, right? <laughs> That's why the coaches <laughs> are there, right? So this is my analogy because, uh, because for example, teachers or whoever, uh, mm -hmm. right. So who needs a haircut doesn't do that mm -hmm. by listening to the uh, YouTube, right? You go to your hairdresser. Exactly. Right? exactly. When it comes to fit or like any other sport or whatever, you learn everything from the YouTube. But when it comes to the hairdresser or dentistry or like whatever, a dressmaking or like if you want to get your suit cut up, you go to the dressmaker. You need a professional. Yeah, you, you, need, a, you need a professional then. Exactly. So we work as long as we work as a team, uh, that is the way to go. So I got a lot of requests. Why don't you do like uh, YouTube videos on I said like it's for what? Because I cater to a specific niche. Uh, if you're a corporate guy, corporate fitness, uh, then you're like a sedentary guy who has your business stuff. He doesn't need to do like high intensity workouts or like whatever to maintain the, uh, his uh, lifestyle or the fitness level. But if you're like a tennis player, uh, if you're a tennis player, you don't need to uh, work as a combat athlete. And likewise, if you're a soccer player or a cricketer, like if you're a batter or like a bowler or a wicket keeper, you have like different tasks. Uh, because I don't know much about soccer, so I'll skip that. But for javelin, it's like a power sport, which I've done uh, with some of the Olympians who qualify. But then again, it's like a power sport. So I'm more inclined towards like the power endurance because I'm not the, uh, I'm not passionate about marathon running, triathletes. Uh, so that's like a different ball game. So I link up with uh, most, can you read me or yeah. Yes, Can yes. yes. Of course. Ah, I okay. think uh, it's just that, uh, you know, the video is not it's stuck. Yeah. It's stuck. It's stuck. The video is stuck. Ah, okay. Okay. Right. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, let's see. Yeah. It's okay. We have another, uh, we have another, uh, uh, you know, we have a question here from Ratan. He yeah. says, uh, yeah. we could uh, include a few sessions of contact sports routine in our daily fitness sessions, Tai Chi as well. Yeah, it depends on like uh, where your athlete is at, right? So, yeah. for example, so sometimes, I mean, it depends on the athlete, athlete's training age, right? Mm -hmm. Training age, mm -hmm. like how many years has the athlete trained and his or her biological age. So, for example, if you try to hit uh, like focusing mitts or pads or bags or like whatever, like because mm -hmm. everybody's like into Muay Thai, like MMA, like stuff like that. So the reason yeah. is like we, we train years before uh, hitting the pads or the bags. And there's a special specific technique to hold the pads and different types of bags, different types of pads. And we do like taping of the hand uh, in a different way before you hit. 
So then again, like I wouldn't uh, use the, it's okay to use as like a variety to get the monotonous out of the program. So if you are doing some mm -hmm. shadow boxing, that's fine. Right, Tai Chi is perfect. I mean, yoga, I don't believe in, like I had like many questions about like why yoga is like not good, like in world conferences and like I was going back and forth, right? So I said like there's a, I mean, the, all the tools are good provided at what time you use it. So, but yogic breathing is perfect, right? So if you take the yogic breathing, like it's like one of the best in brain neuro, yeah, yeah, best, yeah, hands down. But if you use like the their postures or the yoga poses or like a Pilates or whatever, it doesn't necessarily fit into like tennis or combat sport or like whatever, right? So you right. need to find like what is workable for that particular athlete and use it. So for your question, I mean, you can use it, but provided he's not like a high level athlete. But if it's a junior athlete, most sports you're engaged because then you have like a more of like a overall athletic base. So then you're not stressing the same body parts, same energy systems on a continuous basis. So for example, if you play a bit of soccer, okay, that's fine, or football, then you play a bit of basketball, tennis, swimming. So you're not stressing the same joints, the same energy system over and over again. So the injury right. rate and the stress on the particular parts and the energy system is less. So that's actually perfect. But if you are training like a high level athlete, that's not the way to go. Because then we focus much on the nutrition, the recovery and those kind of uh, aspects and try to minimize the time and do high quality, high intense work in a specific period of time. Correct. Correct. That's, that's, that's so true. I think, again, when we, we come back to Dave Miley's thing, everything depends. Yeah, yeah, that's like, I love it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. And uh, how about Live Fit Online? Yeah, that's that is one... actually, yeah, that's the one for like, uh, for everyone. Like if you want to do like fitness, the corporate fitness, that's where oh. I focus on my online uh, programming because uh, mm -hmm. tennis and uh, combat is like more of a niche. So if anybody wants like the online training, I can like uh, categorize on that online thing, yeah. So for the corporates or like whoever coaches or athletes or whoever, right. But uh, tennis and the combat is like more specific. It's like a high uh, intensity is like a, for a specific niche. Exactly. And uh, yeah, Ranil, uh, the most uh, important thing these days, you know, uh, so many tennis players, you know, so many dif different sportsmen like cricket, tennis, badminton. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They are adding a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, MMA into their uh, fitness, then they're uh, adding, okay, yoga, and these are uh, fine because for, uh, uh, you know, for their controlling their breath, meditation, yeah, fine, yeah. all these yeah. are, all these are, all these are, uh, you know, so many things, but you know, how do you look at all these things together? Because they have no time because once they practice, you know, they also need to practice for a while. And they get into all this and uh, I think that is where uh, most of them are being injured as well because I see a lot of, uh, not just tennis players, ba yeah, badminton see, players. Yeah, yeah, because uh, because I've trained some of the badminton players like even the junior number two and uh, like uh, the Olympic badminton. So that's a different ball game. So badminton and fencing are in much more relations, right, compared to the other record sports, yeah, right. So if you take yeah. like, uh, yeah, squash or tennis, it's not going to be the same as the badminton and fencing. So fencing and badminton is like more on like similar lines, right? So, so uh, my question is like, uh, everybody does like the, the cool stuff, like the jumps and the uh, snatchers and like all this stuff. Have you seen like a Olympic power lifter doing tennis or badminton or tennis drill or cricket drill? Never. Obviously, obviously no. Maybe no. for recreation, maybe. Maybe that's like a, on like we are off peak on your transition right. period. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but have you seen like any combat athletes doing cricket stroke or getting a bat or like doing those stuff? Absolutely Never. no. Absolutely yeah. So no. That, yeah. yeah, so that's my reason because all this stuff are cool because that's the trending subjects. But uh, then yeah. you have to decide like are you doing for the coolness or like I want to get some benefit or whatever. Personally, me, because for the past month, because I'm used to uh, traveling a lot with the athletes doing the gym stuff. Now I'm like really isolated. So what I uh, doing now I don't have. So I'm doing the best what I can now with working on the podcast, working on the writing and doing some body weight because at this period, you're not going to overtax yourself because your immunity is going to go down. Right. So yeah. if you overtrain or like overtax, right, especially with the COVID and like whatever, because the more uh, less immunity you have, less stress in your cortisol you have. So then you have to adjust it accordingly to maintain. 
So now what I do is like the basic cardio and basic body weight and few of the bands. So not going crazy, just maintaining. So you're gonna ride out the wave and see uh, what happens. Yeah. Correct. And uh, the most important thing uh, here, see, you work with uh, you know most of the most of the professionals, you know, Olympic yeah. Sea Games you know, everywhere. Yeah. So uh, how uh, how do you work work on them? So basically, Ranil goes and directly uh, no, gets them, or is there something pre pre season? and then you have the yeah. tournament and then you no, have because, the yeah exactly yeah tournament. yeah because uh, can see you just, what happens can you just elaborate and tell us yeah yeah for sure yeah so you have to understand uh, if you're going into a country because usually yeah. we are going into countries or like the organizations those are the two aspects or the professional yeah. athletes so these are like yeah. three angles you cover so if you're going into a country yeah. so the country hire us uh, as like in with the performance unit so we will head the performance unit then we are categorize the sport which are like a medal prospects like if you are taking for olympics or like para olympics asian games sea games then we focus on that and under us we have like a team of coaches strength and conditioning technical coaches the athletes so we actually monitor as like a consultant we cater to like the gold medalist potentials and the silver medalist potential right so we work right. as a team to categorize them and to have the periodizing cycles the the training volumes the methods i um, mean correcting and everything yeah from monitoring to correcting to uh, programming so if you go into a, like a small group for example if you take a davis cup or a fed cup team or like a right. combat organization then right. it won't be uh, it will be a bit more specific because you have like less people right at least four or six players so it's easy to monitor easy to get results and easy to sustain right so when you go yeah. into professionals i mean yeah. they, they are not attached to any organization they are run by the management so that's where we do the non disclosure agreement right you have the sponsor and everybody uh, so then what we do is like it's highly personalized so we tech i mean for personally i have like the lasers to uh, percussions to cortisol levels the blood uh, drugs uh, everything like uh, what you call the blood uh, results everything is monitored on an individual basis so for an individual athlete we spend about 8 to 10 hours per day on an athlete so that is, which is impossible if you are handling like four athletes it's not going to happen so that's why you have like the professional athletes separately these i'm talking about the strength and conditioning part only and the recovery and the technical part is uh, it plays a key factor as well so if you are doing like a technical session then you have like a sparring session like in like uh, going for like uh, trial matches or some sets uh or drills in tennis so in between we come in so the athlete trains about like a uh, hell of a load of hours during the day so each session is monitored the nutrition is monitored for that particular session so i'm talking about the professional so but if you are this is pre tournament yeah pre or during or it everything varies yeah so even the peak after, time after, exactly yeah so in pre is like your preparation it depends on like what you are going to do right that's exactly. where the periodizing periodizing comes in uh right. yeah periodizing comes in because uh, you have like different models of periodizing you got the block periodizing you got the undulating and you got the concurrent right the concurrent yeah. periodizing is like you do multiple uh stuff so usually if you have like a athlete at a higher level so if you take a professional right. uh, yeah professional tennis player uh yeah. let's say then yeah so then they can do the uh, what do you call the concurrent or like the uh, undulating periodizing because they have been there for a long period they know their body the athletes and the coaching staff know their body and the response so they they can do like one day strength the speed the maintenance uh, likewise but if you are developing athletes the block periodizing is the best thing then you have like microcycles the mesocycles the macrocycles in different ways exactly exactly block periodizing uh, is is also becoming uh, a trend now yeah because then again like um, most people ask this questions on like seminars okay uh, what is the block period in the bus is the best way there's like no best way because we have just the basic plan then we modify it on a daily basis so for example okay we are starting uh, for example say we are starting on the basic strength endurance that was our plan for the uh, next 2 3 weeks right okay right. so the athletes does a heavy st- session previous night with tennis but in the morning you have the strength endurance session so the recommended protocol cannot be done so if you do the recommended protocol the athlete is going to have like a metabolic uh, shutdown and a physical shutdown and a mental shutdown so as a strength and conditioning coach you got to modify it then and there so like all these periodizing plans or whatever it's good to have like a plan but we always modify it then and there on a daily basis 
So it's like what we call is like daily, yeah, daily progressions and regressions. You cannot follow a timetable basically. Everything depends yeah. on. Yeah. Again, everything yeah. depends. Exactly. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. So as for this period, I think most of the I think the players will have a question: what to do during this period, right? So that's the main. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So my best recommendation: work on the stability, the mobility, right, and also the cardiovascular base. And by this time, you can do some muscle endurance because without the proper strength, you're not going to do uh, the good strength workout. Because as because a professional, yeah, when you're talking about uh, when you're talking about endurance now, you know when you yeah, mentioned yeah. endurance. So you now most of them cannot go out of the house, right? Yeah. So how can they build endurance? So you, that's why I said like you got sta- stationary running, right? So you can do okay. ma- I mean quick motion like lateral motion or whatever the space you have like in your balcony or like your apartment. So you got to do repeatedly. I know it's tough; it's right. not the ideal condition, but right. you I mean as an athlete, you got to do that whatever it takes. So sometimes when I go with my athletes in unknown countries, we just depend on like oatmeal, egg boils, or like uh, tuna cans or whatever. We don't eat outside the salads or ice creams or whatever. So the reason yeah. is, if you get like a stomach problem or whatever, then you're done. All this hard work is done. So Correct. sometimes we go weeks without eating unless we are booked in a good hotel or like a five star hotel. We don't eat out. We don't eat salad. Uh, we don't eat like uh, ice creams or stuff like that. But we always uh, do like safety stuff, like peanut butter. bread eggs eggs boil like uh, the basic stuff but which gives you the nutrition and also we have like our i mean uh, nss certified uh, supplements which are i mean banned substance secure, free supplements which is approved by wara right. and stuff like that so we check on those so we maintain like uh, so you got to do what you can with what you have at that particular moment right right i think yeah that's, that's i think most of them uh, are I'm sure they'll be convinced with this uh, answer from you. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I mean, personally, because you can do the stationary running, you can do the wall running, right? Correct. But then again, it's not not a high intensity. But your goal should be these days uh, working on the cardio respiratory system, right? So if you are in like uh, apartments, I don't know like this health standard because of the COVID, the pools are safe or not. but if you have like a isolation pool or whatever you can do some swimming and get the stuff done if you are in an apartment but then again you need to check with your local health authorities is it safe or not because that i'm not sure if not you yeah. can use the uh, interval based training so interval based training you can do the first step right in a split stance you can take the first step right so you can develop right. that in a small space for tennis players especially so you got to be in the split split okay take the left step uh, the left uh, foot forward the right foot forward couple of steps and back so that you can do it in a interval based like 1 to 2 ratio or 1 to 1 ratio so that will work on the interval basis but on a regular maintenance you can do like a multiple like if you have like a small place is tough you can do the lateral shuffles you can do the crossover step uh, forward backward running or like if you have like a apartment you can uh, go up and down the stairs or like some, yeah, yeah correct I mean, that's, combination that's sufficient in a small smaller space which are these yeah, are the so, things which are sufficient which in a small Yeah, yeah, that's that's all we can do. We can, I mean, expect uh, yeah, because everybody's facing facing this heat, anyways. So all the tournaments are cancelled. Like after the program, it's going to be a problem as well. Uh, so there is, yeah, yeah. So it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, we have one more question. What about the what about the importance of sound healing therapy in sports to calm and help in concentration yeah, athletes? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect because I use it. So then we have the music type. So the certain people are responding into a certain level. I think uh, those who are interested, because I'll be doing a specific article blog on this. So you can go to the Strength right. Attack blog, and I did okay. an article on sleep. Sleep is like right. yeah, uh, importance of sleep. So the next one right. I'm talking about this kind of uh, sound therapy. Sound is actually see what happens like in the sound therapy. You are working on the parasympathetic nervous system, same as in yogic breathing or tai chi or whatever. So it's actually okay. the calming down effect. So the same music can be used to hype up. So that's why you see like certain okay. players listen to music before the tournament or like coming into the ring or like the court. You listen to certain yeah. music. So yeah. that can yeah. be uh, taken to amp it up as well. So depending on the personal choice. because for most of the combat athletes we do like sound therapy uh like uh, high intensity like say rock music or whatever they prefer that because they are like more aggressive so i mean majority of tennis players are more into like hip hop like the rap and stuff like that before a tennis match they are like Correct. you know right they are like chill out yeah, like coming in yeah one of the players become a rap uh, singer now ah uh, see yeah. <laughs> perfect yeah I'm not so good. perfect yeah yeah, yeah perfect yeah 
yeah so perfect yeah so that uh, yeah so that and then again the cooling type is different so for me uh, i think like majority of the uh, what do you call the tennis players are into hip hop and some other uh, like what do you call the romantic yeah, type hard, of music yeah hard rock rap you know there's so much yeah, into it depends so many yeah. of them are into rap yeah, so and rock yeah it works because see what happens like the number of beats beats per minute like same with coming into the group fitness you got like if you do like a uh cardio kickboxing or a zumba class or it's specific to a number of beats like we have the step aerobics you got like number of beats tick 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 right right, uh, yeah, right. right. so that number of beat actually it triggers see how your body responds with your senses you got the uh, senses from the eyes the ear the touch the smell so all the senses it inputs your brain so that's how your body responds anyways right so that goes into the central nervous system it transports uh, like the action then the action potential comes into the muscles or whatever then you get used to that so what happens like it specific routines will build up your right. confidence uh, in coming down or getting amped up for the tournament so it sound therapy is perfect but then again you need to find like what the athletes like not what you like right so sometimes yeah my players they prefer i mean instead of sound therapy they prefer to play a video game right that relaxes them more than sound therapy video games okay. or like yeah video games or like whatever right so some of the athletes they prefer that to calm them down so it's pointless me going in to say ah oh, you listen to the sound therapy that will be a stress for them right they chill out basically with a game so you got to okay. you got to depend yeah. everything depends like, yeah, yeah it depends yeah yeah perfect for <laughs> yeah 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 so dev mali is never wrong <laughs> yeah and that's why i said like you hang up with like the good people we learn from each other so some tips like right. this position i love something from you is like you got to be have an open okay. mind uh, like it's Absolutely. like nobody yeah okay, yeah so it's like we go we go okay. hang out with the right people you learn a lot apply right, like we have, we have we have we have another uh, player here we have uh, uh, pratyusha one of the players here and uh, pratyusha plays lot of uh, she's into lot of uh, you know uh, different types of fitness she's she i think she becomes monotonous doing the regular routine she does a <laughs> lot of you know football kind of thing you know the, the footsteps and all that kind of right. stuff even she she's one who's hearing us then we have yeah. uh, gokul gokul is a you know is a very uh, senior coach with us who's been working for a while he comes from mm-hmm. a tennis family he's also no, you know uh, uh, watching us here so yeah we have another uh, we have another uh, girl here neharika neharika okay. is Neharika's father uh, is uh, was my uh, uh, you know uh, was my karate master. All right, nice. Yeah. Did karate in school and uh, you know even she's watching and uh, you know the sir has been very influential on our uh, thing and you know uh, so they're all watching. <laughs> yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No. Perfect. And yeah, so the next let let's come to this. You know the 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 because you wanted to uh help us help our athletes because we are uh, working on few things together you know you wanted our athletes uh, with the support because you being here is impossible for you know quite a lot of time so you yeah. uh, you actually uh, you know recommended us to get into the website of yours where you can help us yeah because the thing is uh, you got to sign up for the online because i have limited spaces as you know yes. because this I is on a, which website uh, no running? because uh, no no because this is not on a website because i'll send okay. you a special link uh, i think i sent right. you and some guys the sample of it so once yes. you're the really serious guys because i'll take on them because it's going to be a individual thing right it's uh, next best thing to being live right, right? so right. like right. Each day it's categorized each day you right. know what to do what to do so you don't have to think about it you just do that and see the results is like my thing is like result oriented like whichever the yes. athlete I, like i just prove results so when we do the workshop right. in india hopefully like if you want speed i'll give you speed right there right. not like in 6 right. months away like whatever like in couple of days or whatever you see the note uh, the difference so once you see right. the difference the athletes will adhere to that program but if they don't see the results like right. this from my personal experience and my mm-hmm. uh, my mental yeah, we'll as well we have to customize again we'll have to change what they actually okay. require with all the yeah because player a to player b it's going to be right. totally different yeah so for exactly. example some girl might be uh, uh, i mean lacking power or like mm-hmm. the lateral motion right other girl might be having the power but she doesn't have the speed right 
so, so for this for doing for checking this that will that uh, that uh, the player has to do it online or something i mean they have to give you all the uh, specific all the details is there yeah yeah all, all the details yeah, yeah. you no, it's not in the web no no it's not in the website because <laughs> right. if you're serious on the people they can send an email uh, to Correct. me on like yes. uh, info at tennisbpm.com info yes. at tennisbpm.com so yeah. then i'll i can do the training then it will be a four week program so if they like if they see the results they can continue with the program or if they are not happy so it's not a, like a long term commitment so but the thing yeah. is like i have like limited space so only the series i'll be taking so because uh, as you know because you need to have the blend with the athlete and the coach as well so uh, yeah so when that happens uh, the results comes in so uh, initially yes. you mean to say uh, we will keep it simple you know it is you will if, if somebody when when these guys enroll with you so yeah. first uh, you will do a testing for them you know you'll be sending no, them something so that I, i'll send them the protocol yeah some protocols yeah. to send yes. me back details right from the right. medical the blood right. results or like the blood pressure then i'll do some yeah. basic uh, tennis drills because i can't do it live right. here and i'll last exactly. that's post for like for example you have like a 20 yard dash from the tennis court or like the right. medicine ball throw from my forehand side the backhand side then i'll get the power so they can yeah. do that particular drill on the court with uh, like uh, the right. usual protocol then i know exactly where they stand so then we can actually train for like 4 weeks right Correct. after training for four weeks then we can see four to five weeks then we can see the difference because then we have like a parameter or like a baseline where they stand so if you take the, exactly. the long like like long jump or the vertical jump or the spider drill then they can actually yes. see okay are we improving your fitness or not so if not what yeah. happens like if you have a base you don't know your starting point you don't know your midpoint you don't know your end so then what happens yeah. you're doing like a lot of stuff okay hoping but it's not uh, black and white so when Correct. we train athletes everything is black and white something is not working we change it so that's why we do yeah, the you need uh, to customize frequently every, i mean every, uh, depending every, on depending on yeah depending on like that's why we say like uh, like every four weeks on the individual uh, i mean online programs i do every four weeks because uh, i don't have the time but if it's on a live athlete when i train one on one it's going to be daily so daily yeah so that's like that's the only way if you are going on to the top level but right. like in a country wise or a group wise as i was telling you before uh then it's not going to have the same results but you'll have better results right so and how about now, now there's there's one more question which uh, you know uh, uh, as yeah. i told you mukun has had asked me you know now he's mukun, traveling mukun, yeah mukun mukun yeah. mukun, uh, mukun, yeah. so mukun yeah. is traveling so he hardly yeah. gets a week or a couple of weeks break you know yeah. I, now how we do it for uh, players who are traveling you know who are traveling for probably he's traveling 20 to between 20 25 to 30 weeks every year and yeah, this week he's somewhere next week he's somewhere else yeah that's why that that's the main reason why i have this online program so right. when you're traveling you have like different tasks so they can communicate with right. me on a daily basis okay like this my or training load or like this what i did today then we have like a training load monitoring system so you yeah. know basically every athlete can do that then we modify right. it accordingly so for example if you have like a like a three hour match today so then you mm-hmm. modify your recovery protocol instead of like doing something else right right so it's uh, okay. it uh, adjusted according to the playing environment the players uh, feeling emotionally and physically uh yes. sometimes they break rest then you have like the heat factor coming into play uh i mean right. especially in tennis you got the uh, i mean sometimes like when the heat factor is there heat index is high then you have yeah. like a problem in uh, continuing at the same intensity so then then we with the online program they can access through the mobile phone or like the tablet or whatever then yeah. it's already there, what to eat when to eat like uh, yeah so they just need to do, go there click it and done this that's meant for like people like the that's why i say like the corporate guys who are traveling is the same thing business people who are traveling to business and they are also traveling at least are traveling coaches are traveling to so right. finish is instead of the weight loss people or toning people or like you do like oh lunches oh look at my leg exactly yeah. <laughs> like yeah yeah okay. yeah this like the exactly. the fun like okay go push more or like yeah it's not my thing uh actually to be very frank i was there like long years ago 20 years ago i was the same thing when i was doing like personal training group training but that doesn't yeah. fit to the uh, yeah so the uh, professionals right. in the field yeah see that's the reason i told you you know there's so much you probably you know in the last 23 years okay last 12 11 years 
from the time yeah. we met last time you know yeah. there's so much change over now yeah, yeah. <laughs> the under yeah, armor guy is now you know now i'm like a highly i'm yeah. like highly <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely you know it's totally different <laughs> different ranel from uh, 2009 to 2020 <laughs> Ranil, amazing we have another question ranil here yeah, yeah. in these times of lockdown yeah in these li- times of lockdown we should have ratana right uh, ratana rao ratan yeah ratan ratan rao, ratana, ratana rao. Yes. A, uh, the ai based match simulation for our players to keep match fit uh, are, uh, i didn't are, un- understand the ai yeah i, yeah, I, even, I didn't understand just uh, ratan if you can just uh, uh, what that AI. Uh, I didn't. I didn't understand that. Maybe you know, Ratan can uh, you know maybe send a message again. In these lockdown times. Yeah. Yeah, we should have uh, maybe based match simulation for our players to keep fit. Or oh, maybe he he is mentioning that you know maybe if he ha- can have some match based simulation, match simulation kind of thing, artificial intelligence. Oh ah, yeah that's what I figured out oh man like you're yeah. on the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Right. I thought as much Ratan yeah. yeah so yeah. i mean if you have the access that's perfectly fine because right. uh, yeah because the thing is like uh, this kind of uh, uh, what do you call the uh, high tech gear most uh, athletes cannot afford especially when yeah. you come to the uh, south east asia and the asian countries uh, but yes. uh, i mean if you have the access go for it by all means so every tool is useful as i was yes. telling you because you have like some reaction apps that those are good some great games are good i mean right. even certain games are, i mean it's pretty good so if you have the yeah. access use it yeah by all means use right. it yeah yeah right because yeah. the thing so is like is... you need to find the i mean if you are a coach you have been training athletes you know uh i mean uh, what are the uh, yeah what are the uh, what do you call the uh, protocols in the sands uh what are the protocols and uh, how to use it for your particular athlete right it's not yeah, about using everything yeah 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 everything, everything because... depends on what they want you know what they have to go ahead you know uh, what you have and what you can provide them with exactly yeah because see some of the right. times because some my athletes ask like why aren't i bringing like the air compressions so we do for recovery the air compressions like the yes. recovery boot and yes. stuff like that you must have seen yes. then i have like yes. my percussion guns with like a 6 speed uh certain amount of hertz right so certain amount of percussions per minute right yes. that's like a 6 speed then you have like the lasers right. then you have like the right. other stuff then i do the manual manipulation but the thing is like i don't use that on every athlete every tool so right. so i use it at the uh, certain athletes certain tools at the right time if they require yeah. yeah so actually the customization, the, customization the, everywhere yeah customize because uh, the coach will know your athlete the best because you spend like a lot of time on the uh, yeah, yeah a lot of time yeah yeah with on the athlete average, you know, i think if you if you are working on some athlete you know a tennis player especially for a couple yeah, of years yeah. or maybe more than that you will be able yeah. to understand you know, their the the ways the their you know their mood swings their you know ways their exactly, food yeah. habits everything yeah, exactly. i'm sure uh, yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah especially uh, yeah because especially when you are coming to the uh, what do you call the uh, i mean the female athletes when they're having their periods yes. then you have to treat yes. them in a different way because the training Absolutely. protocol everything changes yeah then your supplementing right. changes but then again it's very from athlete to athlete on that a period time so if you are doing uh, i mean the emotional status is like all hey why and stuff like that so as a coach or like a strength coach we just modify it uh, then and there right. so uh, female a to female b and c is going to be totally different how they respond or react same with the guys so right. the guys will be yeah some guys will i mean after a loss they'll be pumped up to uh, go and like some kick ass or whatever like uh, in my words i love to say or like <laughs> right. like they they yeah yeah because i'm like i'm not a doc so yeah because some yeah. people uh, some male athletes would be down right they'll be like really closed off and like yeah in a mood and not talking to anybody because other athletes when you're like uh, i mean when you get like a really beaten up in a match then you go like if you say like you lose like a, a love and love then the next match yeah. they'll be like really fight to go and Absolutely. go for the win yeah or right. else like they'll be down so those are like the extreme yeah so you know that being an orthodox is is the best part 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> the best part about yourself you know so yeah. so i'm so really? uh, uh, quite a lot of them uh you know in the, and you know the most important thing which we i wanted to personally ask you is you know yeah, yeah. Uh, you know uh, especially in tennis uh, and quite a lot of uh, badminton and all these sports you know uh, men and women boys and girls we tend yeah. to uh, practice together you know train together right yeah is do you think you know for men it is different and women it apart from customization you know the general yeah. stuff you can put the the amount of the load which we are going to give can be same uh, so what happens like when you're um, inspiring for example 15 year old uh, uh, girl and a 15 year old yeah. guy for example 16 yeah. or 15 but yeah. the guy will have more power that's actually the genetics that's the uh, gender difference right exactly. so yeah but if that's where we come in i was telling you in the beginning of this uh, conversation about the training age right exactly. so training age yeah training age so you got the biological age you got the chronological age you got the training age okay. right those are the three yes. age factors so for yes. example if the girl is like 15 years old and she's been playing tennis for like 12 years right and the guy is 15 right. years old and playing tennis for like one two years right mm-hmm. then the girl might be able to match the strength and the power of that athlete the male athlete okay but right. the training uh, levels and the power output is like equal then what happens like the the trauma when you hit the racket with the ball uh, mm-hmm. the impact will carry throughout the system so you get like micro fractures and the tendon and the ligament problems and stuff like that when you are playing with a higher intensity but it's always good to have variety then what happens like the coach you can ask your athlete uh, uh, like for the male player to reduce the force is playing at so he can play more with like speed instead of power see right. you get what i'm saying so you got to modify it like when you who you i mean working out or like doing the uh, the matches yeah correct right yeah, yeah i think that's that's uh, that's more information that's that's very nice and uh, yeah because most of them here have been training together on the same uh, you know this on the same sip on my coffee yeah yeah, yeah i yeah. just sip my coffee yeah. <laughs> i need my caffeine yeah. Yeah. Yes yes of course ratan has another uh, uh, you know question we coaches should have a basic training in human psychology uh, physiology and psychology yeah it's best that you understand why but you don't need to go dig in deep but you need to understand yeah. like uh, why right the psychology yeah. how you uh, respond how you talk to a person and but if you're having like right. parents how do you react then also again right. because uh, since i've traveled with like different uh, cultural backgrounds each culture respond yeah. in a different way right so yeah. for example what i talk in in with my american athletes will not yeah. digest and the humor and like the uh, social background will not right. digest with the british guys it will not exactly. digest with the humor will with the australians so if i come to right. india it's like a different like if you go to indonesia is different right. thailand is different i mean go right. to vietnam myanmar mm-hmm. it's uh, it different because you need to understand like the who are your coaches who are working right. out and like yeah then you need to adapt yourself to that culture and the environment and right. uh, dig it in so so sometimes like my uh, when my professional athletes they got used to me as well so when i coach them they like got a lot of bleep bleeps but they understand yeah. because i do it with care but it's like all like filtered right on like public media it will be filtered yeah. my, my exactly it's done so but then yeah. they know at the end of the day because it's it's like the part of the intensity is that the it's not in a bad way but it's right. it's how we train and how we motivate them but the same thing if yeah. i tell like another person in another country for <laughs> then they'll be like really offended like the everybody will be offended and like it's exactly. going to be another exactly. exactly well, that's yeah. one of the major, major parts these days you know yeah. uh, uh, and for ratan's uh, question yeah and for ratan's question let me elaborate we are getting into the last minute uh, uh, last uh minute. Uh, getting into the last minute oh we are uh, done for all right we, yeah? we will have another session sometime with you soon yeah, yeah. According, uh, according to your uh, uh, schedule because yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, on on some specific stuff which uh, yeah, yeah, I, sure. i would like uh, you to Uh, figure out you know uh, uh, whichever you want to talk on yeah i think uh, basically we can uh, the next session we can see like uh, the importance of like the proper warming up that's like uh, right. most people fail on sure. that how to sure. activate the neuromuscular system uh, to be tennis specific then we yes. can elaborate on that because soon i'll be starting the podcast in about a couple of weeks with a uh, another strength yes. coach of mine yeah so Thank that uh, until then they can uh, see the what do you call the uh, uh, what do you call the website and